making an amazing collage with watercolors and mixed media today. Mixed media basically means you're going to be using multiple different supplies for this project. So today we're doing Under the Sea or Ocean Week at school. So our Bible verse this week is going to be Isaiah 43, 2. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. And who will be with you? Who is that talking about? Is God is going to be with you no matter what you're going through. He is there caring and loving you. And he is with you through all of the times, whether they're good or bad. So today we're going to be starting with this cutesy crab. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by showing you the line drawing. And we're going to be making this first. So you're going to need paper and a pencil. I'm going to be using a Sharpie today so that you can see it nice and clearly. So here we go, guys. We're going to get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a rainbow line in the middle of your paper. And your paper is going to be horizontal. I should have said that at first, horizontal. Now next you're going to close that off. Now we're going to begin to make the eyes first. So I'm going to make the two little lines that are parallel coming out the top. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to make the eyeballs. One, and two, we're making two circles, guys. And you can actually make your eyes any way you want. Like on the inside, you can make them lots of different ways. So over on the side here, I'm gonna show you different ways. So you can make it a circle like this with another circle inside of it. And some light catchers. Light catchers are the thing you're going to leave white. It's a little reflection dot. Then you would color this in, okay? You could also make a circle. You can make an eyelid. You can make a little eye again. And then maybe one light catcher in this one. And then you would color that in. You could even put eyelashes on it if you wanted to. Whatever you want to do to the eye there. You could also make the whole thing like this and then color that part in like this. So it's up to you how you want your eye to look, okay? I'm gonna make the ones that I have an example already with the circle inside and then my light catchers, two of them, and I'm gonna color this part in. color it in okay guys now we've got the eyes done all right that one had eyelashes i'm going to make this one not have eyelashes and then i'm going to start making his claws so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make this big old u shape big old u shape and then a letter v to connect the two so i'm going to go down come up go down come up and then we're going to come on over here like this making his little arms. I'm gonna do it again over here, but because I have my eyeballs there, I'm gonna have to make it a little bit differently because I don't have as much space, but that's okay. I'm gonna make his claw a little closer like this, a U shape. Come down. And usually I go come down, come up, like a letter V. And then I'm gonna make his claws, the bottom part of his claw, I should say little arm. Now, if you notice on here, I used a lot of the elements of art here. I used shape, circles or shapes. And then I used also lines. There's different kinds of dotted lines going on and little short lines in there. Elements of art are the building blocks of art. So we're going to be adding these cool little designs in here. You can do it however you want. I might even do like a little ziggy zag for a shadowing line there instead. And I think I'm gonna add some little eyelashes up, not eyelashes, sorry, eyebrows up at the top. 
Now for this one, I was thinking that maybe I can make him have a little like mustache. Um, so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go up, come down, go up, kind of like a letter M. But a, an M that's like a little weird. Now it looks kind of like the top lip. But I'm gonna come back in like this and come back in like this. And now I've got this funny mustache going on here. Now, crabs don't really have mustaches, but I like to make my artwork fun and creative. So you can think of other creative things to add to your awesome crab, go for it. And I put some texture in there, making some hair lines for my awesome mustache. Now I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna start my legs, go down, come out, go down, do it again, come out, go down, come out, go down, do it again, come out, go down, come out, go down. Okay, now I've got three on this side and three on this side. Let's do it on this side. Go out, come down, go out, come down. Let's do it again. Go out, come down. Go out, come down. And now I'm gonna make some fun detailed lines on this guy too, on the little legs. I'm gonna do little dashes, just like this. Give it some character, some little lines going on in here. And maybe I'll make some little patterns going on on his shell itself. So he kind of looks like a taco, uh, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But if you want to make him a little different, there have been. I have sometimes made crabs like this too, where you make, I'm going to put it up here, but we're going to cut this guy out so you're not going to see this. I go like this, come over, and go like this. So if you wanted to make it like that, you could and his little eyes, and then his crabby claws would come around like this. So it's up to you how you wanna make your little guy, okay? So this is just a different way, and his mouth would come down and be like that. <laughs> anyway, so that's another way to make your crabby. Um, I'm gonna make some little shapes in here. It's like he's got little patterns on his little shell going on. I'm not making this realistic at all. I'm just kind of giving it like a fun, cartoony character. Okay, so here's my fun Krabby. Now once I'm done with him, I'm gonna start coloring him. I'm actually gonna use, um, oil pastels to color him but you don't have to use oil pastels you could you could use crayons and I'm gonna start coloring 